I see guys right in front of me. Guys right in front of me in this in the open right here. Contact. Contact. Down. Both broken. Both no broken. One, no one. The vehicle blew up. He has south. Welcome to the Ryan Wright Events Podcast. Let's get, let's get, my man. Dude, I, I, I just realized, like, so I just started doing this again. Yeah. And I wish I, like, didn't start streaming because I would, like, I like to talk to people, like, off stream and just, like, just to, like, like, pre- podcast oh, I, I guess. get it i get it absolutely uh I, I do some podcasts and stuff like that every once in a while but it's definitely better off stream yeah yeah because because it's more chill you know what i'm saying like the vibes 100%. are a little different 100%. but I, I, it's just easier to make like 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 just to talk a little bit off stream and then get into it and then like go live after type of thing absolutely. you know what i'm saying yeah i agree all right so um What's up, guys? So for for the podcast today, we're gonna be here with Z Phase. Um, if you guys don't know who Phase is, I met him like a really long time ago, randomly. Uh, it was it was basically like he he hosted a tournament, um, and Mario in chat like basically came came into chat and was like, "Yo, Ron, you're trying to run this tournament with me?" And I was like, "All right," and uh, we ended up winning, which was pretty lit. But it, it was a fun time, and and yeah, that's how that's how we met Z. So what's good, my man? Um, so uh how'd you uh how'd you get into streaming and stuff like that just just to start off well i mean it, it started in july 16th it started on july 16th uh i just needed a break from everything going on with covid and everything like that i wish i started a little bit earlier because for the first couple of months of quarantine i was just bored out of my mind i couldn't really do anything but uh i'm glad i started it then just to get my mind away from the outside world everything that was happening with uh with covid and stuff like that it was a nice uh nice little vacation yeah yeah way to take your mind away from everything that's going 100%. on and stuff like Absolutely. that i completely i completely understand that so um what what, what got you into warzone then like were, were you already playing warzone or or what up i was playing uh i was playing a lot of league of legends and valorant when i first started it was with a lot of okay yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah. started with that um i'd play for the first month or so i was all league of legends and valorant and then one of my first ever like real followers he came into the stream about I say a couple weeks in, he watched me play Valorant for a little bit. He said, "Listen, bro, you have a better chance with uh, with, with God." Yeah, oh, he's a <laughs> I was like, "Okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot." So next stream, I started Warzone. I play with him and a couple of other my friends, and uh, it was great. I, I've loved it since. Okay, okay, that's cool. that's lit, dude. So, uh, what did you uh, what did you play in uh, in, in in League? Like, what was your what role were you playing? A lot of AD carry. Okay, ADC. AD carry. Yeah, <laughs> Ash. Ash? Okay. Yeah. Dude, Ash is actually my uh, my first character I've ever played. Yeah, same, same. It was Ash and Garen. Those two, anytime I play top, I go Garen. Every time I play AEC, I went Ash. Ash, yeah. And then I went to a little bit, Uh, I went to a little mid with Yasuo, Zed, all those assassins, stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. Back to ADC. Yeah, ADC ADC was my main too. I loved ADC. I don't know. It's if it's it like it's it's nice to just chill and, and just get the kills. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. I love it. I love it. And just how strong you get at the end of the game and stuff and how important you are. It's 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 kinda like my personality, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. You doing that supporting role, stuff like that. <laughs> I get like you. It's like you the ball in your hands in like the end of a basketball game or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you don't you don't want to trust someone else to exactly. to be able to pull off those mechanics exactly. at the end of the game when there's six guys jumping on the ADC. You gotta exactly. gotta squirm exactly. your way out of it. So I feel that. I feel that. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I used to play a lot of league. Uh, like yeah. Was that, that was probably one of my main games for a long time. It's a great game, dude, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. I was watching, actually, like, weirdly enough, today I was watching a little bit of, like, Twitch Rivals for for it, like, but, but yeah, I, I, I kind of miss it, dude, but, yeah, I, Warzone was just, like, it's really popping, too, you know what I'm saying, and there's, a, like, a lot of new content creators, and I feel like it's, uh, it's also easier to make content on it, you know what I'm saying, like, it's way harder on League to, like, absolutely. make, like, good plays like they just don't happen as often and stuff it, like it's that the same it's the same process every game for no matter what division you're in you could be in gold you could be in diamond it doesn't really matter it's the same process same format everything like that there's no there's not many tips and trick tiktok videos you can make <laughs> league of legends yeah no yeah yeah and stuff like that you know? exactly it's not like there's there's hidden hidden stuff that's exactly. that's getting in yeah. so um so so you just started streaming and you just like went straight into like TikTok or like what else do you do other than TikTok and stuff like that? I, I didn't start with TikTok. I didn't. I okay. Went, uh, it was a lot of hopes and prayers that people would just find me when I was gullible and didn't really know what to do. Uh, that's how everybody starts out, to be honest, Absolutely. bro. Absolutely. 
absolutely. Uh, then I started like DMing people on uh on Instagram and Twitter. Good, and good move. Like good that. move. Yeah, that was the basic. And then the same guy that got me into Warzone, he said, "Listen, man, you should you should make get onto TikTok." Sheesh! This guy's this guy's for saving your career right now. Absolutely, absolutely. He knows <laughs> exactly who he is. So he's still my best friend today. We we play games every single day. He just started streaming himself too. Cool, so we're cool. Getting that all under a board, and he's uh he's on a good start. That's cool, man. That's cool. It's it's cool that he's getting back into it too, man. That's that's yeah. pretty lit. Yeah. It, it's it that that's cool that you have like your boy like there with you the whole time you know what i'm saying like when i when i first started streaming i had one of my friends like i had obviously like we all start out with zero viewers right yeah and um i was streaming to zero viewers every single day just like trying to like cut clips for tiktok but it was just easier to stream yeah. instead of like record because like what's the point of recording i might as well right. just stream at the same time mm -hmm. and uh and i would have zero viewers every single day for the first like three months and he was just the only one watching me. Yeah, <laughs> and we would just absolutely. run games, dude. It's like, when you get that connection with someone, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, I was in the same spot, bro. So I, I, I completely understand that. So um, what, do you, what do you think about that new update we got yesterday with the, uh, with the, the AUG and the, the FFAR nerfs? Have you tried it yet or, or uh, what? I've tried it. I've tried it. I haven't played too much of it. I was streaming a little bit yesterday. But uh, I'm going to miss it, bro. I am. A lot of people are complaining about it. They're saying they didn't like the AUG, they didn't like this meta, things like that. But I loved it. I, I really I did. liked it, was, it too, bro. I did. It was it was a great meta. If you want to compare it to to other metas like the DMR meta, I'll take the AUG over the DMR any Me too. day of the week. Yeah, you the know? DMR was you could be terrible with the DMR and yeah. hit every shot. Yeah, absolutely. Have you so so you you didn't play a lot of it yet. So have you tried the M16 or no? Uh not really. I played a couple of games with it. I played a couple of it. I would go anytime I would use it, I'd use it with the Cold War MP5. Okay. Just to, just to practice it a little bit. And this was like while the AUG FFAR was meta. Apparently, the M16 is like the really good gun now. So yeah, it's I, so the reason the reason the AUG's not good anymore, from what I can tell, like from from like I only played one day with it, so I don't have like huge testing. But um, the AUG like. You can't hit people off of head glitches. Like, it's impossible. Yeah. Like, they just made the recoil just, like, just enough where, like, you can if you get lucky, but, like, you can't, like, visibly, like, control it to, like, hit people off of headies. Right. And with the M16, you, you can because it literally just straight, only straight up recoil and no okay. horizontal recoil. So that's why I think right. in the M16 is better, but the FFAR still shreds, bro. It's still good. so good. good. I love I, it. I, I, I like Me it. too. Dude, that, I think it's such a fun... I think the strafe that they added from the Cold War guns is like a really fun mechanic. Yeah, absolutely. I, I got nothing to add to that, bro. It's it's perfect. <laughs> I mean, I think the Mac 10 was good too. I really do like the Mac 10. I still use it today. Um, yeah, but I don't know. It's gonna be a meta that I'm definitely gonna miss. So. The, the the Mac 10 was. I kind of miss the Mac 10 meta like a little bit because the Mac 10 was like really fun too. Yeah, I, I really, dude. There's a lot of people who are like, oh, the Cold War guns like destroyed. Warzone, like I think it was a great addition. I thought at the beginning it wasn't going to be good. I thought, really? okay. I thought you would keep using the Amax, uh, the Kilo, the Growl, things like that. I, I thought people were still going to use it, and people still use the Amax, but uh, I, I never thought it'd be so dominant like the like the FFAR, the DMR, yeah. and the Mac Ten and things like that. So it's actually a good. It's a good marketing idea from uh from Activision. Really, like really, because because then they're just trying to get people to buy the game Absolutely. to level up their yeah, guns. It's, it it's it's, it's really smart. smart. I completely. Dude, I love how you think on that level. Yeah. Because I, dude, literally, like, I've mentioned stuff like that sometimes, and people are just like, yeah, I agree with you, but, like, people don't really, like, really understand what they're doing. And that's really yeah. cool that, like, on that marketing level and, and things like that, that you're, you're like, you're there. You know what I'm saying? I'm a that's business cool, major, cool. so I kind of have to think like that. That's lit. But... That's lit. I'm computer science. What, uh, what, uh, what grade are you in? I'm a freshman this year. Sheesh. Yeah, okay. Dude, that's so weird. I'm I'm literally graduating this semester. It's okay. crazy, man. There you go. Enjoy you enjoy live? school, bro. Oh, Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey. Okay. I'm in yeah, Cali. Yeah, what about you? So. Cali? Sheesh. Yeah. Other side of the other side of the United States, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yo, Gatters, what's good, my man? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. Ryan and Nerd. I'm computer science guys. Like I mean, you know, like what are you, what are we gonna do? I play video games, I literally work with computers, like it's what this is what we do. Uh someone said same bro, Z uh and what's his favorite guns what's your favorite gun it'll always be what, what, max bro 
Really? Oh, you, so you love the Amex? The, the first day it came out to, to today. It's it's my favorite gun, my favorite <laughs> gun to use, bro. I love it. I love it. And okay. of course, there's there's always the MP5 that you can always go back to. People think the MW MP5 is not that good anymore. I could still. I, I, I dude, like I that. actually was thinking about that after the FFAR comes out of the meta, the 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 modern one for MP5 might be it, bro. I was I, I made a prediction after. Well, first of all, I said after Mac 10, it's going to be FFAR. And no one believed me until it actually happened. And now I'm saying Cold War MP5 is going to be the new meta. And no one was believing me then. And it's slowly turning into the meta right after the FFAR. So okay. I think, it, I think it's a great gun. It, I think it said, I think one of the stats was like fastest time to kill mm -hmm. among all SMGs. So I think that's the only stat you need, bro. No, no, it, I think... Well, yeah, yeah, it's it's one of the most important, and it has everything the other SMGs have, which is like mag size, speed, relevance. Yeah. Like it's good at everything else the other SMGs are good at. Yeah. And if it has the highest time to kill, I mean, it's just better. Yeah, absolutely. So, so I agree. I do need to try it out, man. I haven't tried out like so. The, you're are you running like the hip fire build on it? Absolutely. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, so I haven't tried it. MP5. Okay, I gotta try it then. Yeah, let's do. That would be a cool. I hope. So this is what I'm predicting, right? Because after they nerf the the M16 like attack rifles to the ground, um, I'm thinking they're gonna buff like exactly how we were talking about before. Like they don't want to they want to keep the Cold War guns meta. Right. So what I'm thinking is if they have a crazy skin for the for the uh, the Craig, Craig, Craig. and yep. it's it's sixty round mag. Yep. It's nice and nice good speed it has on the gun like the movement speed the movement's yep. good. The, the beam consistency is like the Modern Warfare guns. If they buffed it, made the recoil a little better, yep. and uh, added a little things, so the the Craig, and then add another Cold War gun, it's the same thing. dude. Craig is going to be great. Like, I, every time I use it, I use, uh, like, this reflex sight. I, I literally, my gun doesn't move. I don't know. Dude, they have that same reflex sight as fire. So what move. they would need to do, I think they would still need to lower the recoil for the 3X sight, because I don't think that reflex is, like good enough like i feel okay. like if, if people are using the reflex the vlk is just gonna out out beam th in like long range mm -hmm. and that's what you're using your ar for you know what i'm saying right. so if you it like the like it's good for videos and tiktoks and shit be like yo use this micro flex but like in general use i feel like you use your ar for that long range fights yeah. and so like if, if the, the, the for that reason i don't think the the, the reflexes are that strong but I, I i completely understand what you're saying yeah. Um. So, uh, what about uh, what about the skill based matchmaking and stuff like that? Like, uh, what what do you, what do you think about like everything that's going on and everybody that's talking about it and stuff like that? Uh, are you talking about SBMM Warzone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what, what with that and like the whole topic in general? I, I think the website was like a fraud. I I think. Oh, it def it definitely was. I I think it was it caused way too much tension, way too much uh. You know, things it, it caused way too much argument within the COD community, and, and even in TikTok, I see kids playing like absolute demons, posting their clips on TikTok, stuff like that. And every single comment from the top to bottom is, "Damn, I wish I had those bot lobbies." Things like that. Dude, like, I hear that shit every day. It's not bot lobbies. It isn't. You're the bot if you think <laughs> they're bot lobbies. Okay? Yeah, you're the guy with a point seven KD. That I'm shredding. <laughs> yeah, and I'm the one beating you. You know, it's, it's not that. <laughs> Yes, do I think people use VPNs? Absolutely. I, I think these big streamers, if you have a two PC setup, you can easily do you can easily use VPNs and things like that. But do I think they're using it during tournaments and, and when no. it matters the most? Absolutely not. I don't know. No, I, because dude, people don't realize like like so you're a business major and you obviously realize this. Like if if you got caught doing something like that, your career would literally be yep. over. Like absolutely. People don't realize like this is people's lives. Like yep. this is their career. The fact that they would do something like that, and then if the chances, the small, slimmish chance of them getting caught, literally their life would be over. Like they would yeah. have no source of income. Like a lot of these guys don't have like crazy educations or anything like that, and th this is what they do, you know. And if yeah. they got caught, it would literally like. So I I completely agree. Like people are. So did you hear the thing with swag? Like how he was using a, a yeah. strike pack and shit. I just ignored it. I just. Ignored oh, it. oh I, dude, yeah, none of that's real. This kid came into my chat or like was talking on on my TikTok and he was like, "Nice strike pack," and I was like, "Dude, I'm literally using the same controller yep. Swag does." So I know he must have saw the video and was like, "I see the light on your controller, dude." I was like, "Man, like, yeah. no, it, all of that is bullshit." Do I think people use Chronuses? Absolutely, people oh. definitely do. 
but hundred percent. You, you see Swag completely missing an entire. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah he, he, it's he's not happening. Not used, he's not. Used yeah, to yeah, yeah. Back. It's none of that, and it, it would be obvious. You could tell. And, you and, a good player and, like me or you would be able to tell if someone else is using a, a Cronus because you could tell the. Like, after you play enough, you can tell how much aim assist you get. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And the fact that, like, it's it's super easy to tell. I completely agree. Yeah. Um. And, and, and back onto the SBMM Warzone, like, a lot of people really, really, like, took that sight for, like, God. And I completely disagree. Like, if you look at... If, if anybody knows anything about statistics, they were using the median KD for lobbies. So, like... If if everybody has like like the difference between a diamond lobby and a and a gold lobby was like 0.5 KD. So if you're taking the median, the me, like the differences between the lobbies were literally nothing. Yeah. Like the the and then after they'd made the switch with like you have to like open up your lobby, what they were doing was they were using the old API which was like the old information. So if someone was a 0.7 KD player and they moved to a 1.5 um the SBMM Warzone wouldn't have checked that. So technically you would have been in like a way higher lobby and stuff like that. So like all the stats were kind of bogus and everybody was like taking it. I was like, man, like people are taking this website too seriously. Like if you, yeah. you guys don't really know what's going on. Yeah. I mean, all, I don't I didn't know much about all that information and things like that, but I would have people literally go in on my TikTok comment on it and they would see diamond 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 and they would see finally one silver game. Finally yeah. one. It's like, oh, you turn on the Duma for that game? Like, bro, <laughs> no. Come like, on, bro. Give me a break, man. It's unbelievable, yeah. So I know you haven't been playing. So you didn't say you didn't play yesterday, but just in general, like, have you have you noticed a lot of people running C4 now? And, like, just yeah. explosives in general? I, I don't know what that is. It, there's a lot. I'll of tell you right now. C4. I'll tell you right now. Um, was that, it got buffed? No, 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 it didn't. But, um, so, so if we think about it, like, if you break down the Warzone meta, um... Trophy systems used to be very valuable about a season ago. Um, and that's because skill-based matchmaking wasn't as turned up as it is now. And basically, like, since they were raising it and stuff like that, or maybe maybe players just got better and skill-based stayed the same. I don't really know. Um, but basically, before you could run a trophy system, throw it onto your car, and you'd be chilling, right? Yep. Um, and now, dead silence and stopping power are so, so strong because since the skill of the players are so high, you want to have the dead silence to be able to like have that advantage over them. Right. And then for the fact for for that matter, no one's picking up the trophy systems anymore. And then since no one's picking up trophy systems anymore because they value the dead silence for those fights, that explosives are going to come back into the meta. I really do think explosives are going to become like how they were before, honestly. I did not know that. I, I mean, I didn't know. I, I mean, why we, why you C four when you can use? Do C fours not get detected by trophy systems? Um, no. So they they do, but since no people, not as many people, like a lot of people use cars to run people over and stuff like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's really easy to abuse stuff like that, especially when you have ghosts. Like if you're running around, you just throw it throw it yeah. all into the street. The guy runs over it, he's dead. You know what I'm saying? And there's yeah. a lot more situations where that's viable now because no one's picking up even picking up the trophy systems. And and now with the what is that the Strella, that's yeah. like one hit from like everywhere or something yeah. like. There's no reason not to, you know, and and I think explosives are just becoming a lot stronger now, and I think they're gonna come back into the meta because also it. So I was I was gonna make a TikTok about the differences between the Semtex and the the throwing knife because both are very good, both have like really good advantages, but what a lot of people don't realize is like the reason the C4 was good, um, out of like blowing up cars was that you could like throw it around the corner. And just like if someone's camping in the corner, you can just throw it around, instantly explode it. You like you don't have to wait for beep beep right. beep or anything like that. Or if someone's above you in the stairs, one floor above you, you can throw the C4 up and bl ex like blow it up instantly. Yep. And sometimes when you throw a Semtex, you're getting hit by it. Like there's a lot of different things that are going on, and I think that value is still there. Uh, so I'm gonna start. I'll, I'm gonna start running C4s again. I'm gonna see how it goes. I think they could really come back into the meta though. Okay. I mean, I, I think I'm still. I don't know because C4 is the only problem with it is the range is not the same as it was before when you could how far you could throw it and things like that. So it will definitely take some getting used to. But I think for now, until I figure it out, I'm gonna 
keep using my throwing knives. I think. Yeah. Well, I think try it out, dude. Try it out. Trust me, because uh, so there's a lot of. There's a lot of uses to the C4 that people don't realize. Like, uh, even... So, you know how the red and the green buildings, how people camp those ladders? Yeah. All you have to do, right, is... So, if they're on the ladder, if you throw the C4 up on top of that, and then you go up halfway onto the ladder, you blow up your C4, and then go up, the smoke covers you. So, they can't be in the cubby, and the smoke covers you. So, even if they're camping it, they can't instantly shoot you. So, like, little things like that, like, you can't... Like, you, you can't, uh, like, I feel like people don't notice things like that, but, like, I use the C4 like that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, it's, like, little things like that that, like, are cheeky. Like, they're real cheeky, but yeah. they pay off, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I totally do. It's gonna get frustrating, but... Uh, if if they come back into the meta, it's gonna, it's gonna definitely gonna be toxic, like... 100%. It, it's, it was uh, before, so I don't think... <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. and honestly, I think C4s before the nerf were unbelievably broken like nothing was com comparatively like good in in to the c4s I agree. I agree absolutely the the range that you could throw it was <laughs> it was just annoying it was, it was just, so stupid it was just annoying yeah, it was so stupid man yeah. yo lotus thank you for the three months baby thank you for the three months my man i appreciate it a lot um i can barely hear him uh it I need to hire your volume. How do I do that? Is there a way for you to to to, to hire yours at all? I, I could try raising the volume a little. Oh, bit. oh, I mean, that's I'll just bring it closer to my mic. That's that's much better actually. That's much better. I think. Oh, uh, cool, cool, cool. Um, quick question. So, are you gonna? Do you want to run some games after this, or do you gotta go? I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna see uh how long this takes, and if if I got some time, I have a night class tonight, so. Okay, what time's your class? It's going to be in about, eh, what time is it? 4.18? I got about hour, 10 minutes. Okay, all right. So we'll, we'll do this for about like 15, 20 more minutes, if anything, and then we'll hop over to some Warzone, try to get like one or two you. games in then. I got you, man. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, c yeah, because I want to try to like, so the, the way I'm doing the podcast is like, it's a, it's a way for me to like make more content with okay. uh with like other people and like meet new people but yeah. I, except i already knew you but like we haven't yeah. i feel like we haven't really like i've seen a lot of your tiktoks you're you're super smart in the way you market yourself i'm not gonna lie to you brother Appreciate like I, I i see some of your videos and like you really work the algorithm perfectly and Thanks. it's like it's really i really enjoy, like I've, I've literally thought of like straight copying some of your ideas sometimes because yeah, i'm like damn absolutely. dude that's Go a, that's it, a good bro. idea dude like so so i really appreciate like the things you do sometimes i'm like yeah, that was a good idea. Like, he kind of baited me a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, 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 good job with that. I mean, I, I can definitely see why you're, you're, uh, you're a marketing major. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's cool, though. That's cool, though. I enjoy, I really enjoy, like, the whole... That's probably one of my favorite things about, uh, about streaming is that, like, marketing aspect. I, I feel like a lot of people just only like the streaming, and there's nothing wrong with that. Don't get me wrong, but I like that, like... The, the thinking of a way to like make something like so much better, you know, yeah, and like that creative I, aspect is really fun. Yeah, the the people that think that that streaming is just sitting down and playing video games, oh, no. they're, they're, they're idiots. They are the, the, the completely. They don't know anything that goes. Yeah. The time people put into this thing is is um unimaginable. You yeah. know. What, what I tell people is, streaming is about ten percent of what I do. I stream for. I think maximum three hours a day, right? Yeah. And I, of course, right now I'm super busy with school, so the content's a little bit, you know, I, I don't dry have yet. Much content no. as I, as I should that. be. Yeah. But um, you know, content creation is about ninety percent of, of streaming. You know, streaming is just ten percent of it. So yeah, it's uh, you're you're. While while you're live, your content isn't really Twi Twitch doesn't really do a good job of having your content live somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't really market it or anything like that. And that's what yeah. that's what you ha you have to do. You know, you have to make content in places where your content will survive and kind of like do well and get known. So right. uh, <laughs> I, 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 I completely agree. I, I honestly I like it how how Twitch how they made it like that. I do because of course why would they promote I mean, no offense to both. So, of us. so someone who doesn't work, work hard. Right. And, well, yeah. not even that. Why would they promote us when they're when they're paying Tim the Tap Man millions of? Oh, hundred. Yeah, yeah. To stay yeah. on their platform. Exactly. Why would they promote us? You know what I mean? So, I like it how they put it like that. It makes us work for it. 
you know, and then we will, uh, I like that. I like that. Not a hundred percent, dude. hundred percent. I like that a lot. Cause, cause like, like, so I get, I get people like, I'm sure you get this too. How many, how many followers are you on TikTok right now? I'm at like 62, I think. Okay. So, so I'm sure you get this a lot because I definitely do. And I'm only at 20 right now. So it's like, um, uh, like, can I get a shout out and this and that? And I straight up. So like, I've thought really hard about this because at first I was not doing like every time someone would ask, I'd be like, no, I'm not doing shout outs. Right. Um, just to make it simple, uh, like n clean cut, like they're just like, okay, whatever. Like, um, he doesn't do them, whatever. Yeah. So what I started doing was every time someone asked for a shout out, I'm literally like, I want to see you post five times a day for the next two months or like at least like three times a day. I usually say like three times a day, just uh, for the next two months. And then message me then, because then I feel like even if, even if you're posting, but it's just bad content at that point i can help you you know what i mean but like when people ask like i don't mind giving tips to people and like spending some time like taking some time out of my day to be like hey you should like shorten the beginning of your your clip because it's taking too long to get to the point people are just going to leave before you get there like things like that you know what i'm saying yeah. like those are nice quick little tidbits that can help people a lot and but like the people who ask for shout outs are the people who are like one post deep and they're like hey i'm trying to become a content creator can you right. or, or are you trying to collab and i'm just like look i collab i don't mind collabing with people that's not the problem it's the fact that are you putting in the effort that i'm putting in am i going to get as much value out of it as you are you yeah, know what i'm saying i, I mean absolutely I, I did it one time i did it one time I, all i did was i made a video i said okay here are the steps you got to do you got to follow my twitch you got to join my discord that's all you got to do you're going to be placed into a raffle and if you win, you're going to be on my TikTok bio page for like two weeks. I did that for three different people. Those three people are in my stream every single day, and they're a part of my community. You know what I mean? Yeah. So definitely. Of course, I can't do it for everybody. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it, it's just the, it's the friendships that you make. Creating by doing it. Exactly. Absolutely. And yeah, they're, I, they're some of like my best friends now. So Yeah. I, I would definitely say it's like the the value of it you know what i'm saying but that's that's why i tell people to like work at it like i don't want to i don't want to do a shout out for someone who's not like trying you know like yeah. not to say like those guys that you met like weren't like i don't really know the situation but like it's not that they don't deserve it or anything like that but i just <clears throat> the reason the reason i don't like it is um this is like on a whole like extra level but i'm sure you'd, you you'd understand it is just so the head high that people get from like if they got like 15 followers or something like that or whatever the number is it doesn't really matter what the number is but having people in come to their stream or whatever they're trying to accomplish by just like getting lucky i think actually actually hurts people more than it helps because you're providing them that like that like head high of like getting more viewers or like growing and then they're just going to expect people to like more people to come or get m lucky again and have someone else do it again. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like they're not. Does, does that make sense? At that point, at the, in my opinion, just my mentality at that point is their problem. I did my part. You know, if they if they think that this is going to keep happening to them, then that's their issue. And they need to understand that, you know what? I'm not going to get shout outs every day from from a bunch of streamers. That's not how I'm going to make my living. I got to make my content. I got to produce. I, I got to do my work, you know? And if they don't expect that, then either A, they're too young, or B, they're just not ready for it, so. Yeah. And, and I also feel like, I feel like doing content creation and stuff like that. Yo, what's good, Kang? How we doing? Uh, Nath Villa. Is that someone from your stream or your community? Nah, Nathan? Nah, oh, what's good, Nathan? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Uh, sheesh. Dude, I literally, I have, like, this thing on stream. It's, like, whenever there's, like, sayings on TikTok, bro. Yeah. really simple literally just make it a channel point for like a thousand five hundred points and idea. everybody loves it yeah everybody good loves idea. it because it because it keeps it keeps you inclined with your chat even though if you're even if you're playing you look over you see it you're like sheesh and yeah. that's it you know what i'm saying and you're chilling like it, it gets that interaction the live the live feed going yeah, so huh. it's definitely a good idea if, yeah. if you're um I was gonna say something, bro. I completely lost my train of thought, dude. But I love this. Like, this is this is really fun. I'm glad I I'm glad we got to talk. So, how old are you then? I'm 19. I just turned 19 about two weeks ago. Nice, bro. Congrats, dude. C keep up the work, dude. 100. percent And college is definitely a lot of work, bro. But like, like it's definitely manageable to be able to do 
the streaming ends and and like obviously you're not gonna be able to grow the same way yeah. with school but it's that security right it's like yeah. that like fallback like this is just kind of something you enjoy doing and yeah. if you make something of it like oh hell yeah you know what i'm saying but if yeah. you don't like you still got your shit to do you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's it's definitely a great way to go man and like i wish i started earlier too like you said like i was like streaming on and off like not really serious and then when quarantine hit i came home from from the pandemic they uh they closed school and i was like all right well i'm just gonna move back home whatever and started streaming and i mean you know we're here you know what i'm saying it's it's crazy how time goes and and, and yeah. things change you know 100 percent. i'm glad that i've met all the people i have so far it's only been it changes your life dude you really meet a lot it's of cool people eight, and stuff months. like that yeah and, and it's great i'm glad that they they believe in me and it's it's a good dude, feeling it's a good feeling the, the community you build and stuff like that like it's just it's unbelievable you know yeah. the feeling the feeling of it and Dude, we should 100%. Can you tell him I followed him, please, Ryan? Yeah, sure. Nathan Villa just followed you. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you, man. <laughs> um, What's his Twitch name? Yeah, I'll, I'll send the link right now. I actually literally have it copy-pasted because I knew you guys were going to ask. There you guys go. Um, but it, it, when, I, when I have it posted on YouTube and stuff, guys, the link will be the link will be there, too. Um, What's his KD? What's your KD? I don't talk about KD. I told you that I came into so the last Call of Duty I played was uh like Black Ops Four and that was oh, okay all right PS4. yeah and since then I, I didn't play a Call of Duty I, I didn't do any of that I told you I was a League of Legends and a Valorant streamer so I came yeah. into I came into Warzone completely forgetting everything you know yeah so I was at like a point four to a point five for oh months. damn for months i was terrible at the game and finally i started picking up like some game sense understanding where to go so i'm finally going up there i'm at a, i'm at about like a 1.8 or a 1.9 now that's not but too bad though that's not too I bad definitely though. no no i i got i just gotta just give me some time i got like six thousand kills that's it because i i barely <sighs> i got oh my so God. much time i got like i don't have much time to i have i have like, like twenty three thousand, dude yeah, low key. No, I, i've got some i've got some killing to do bro i, I gotta it's Definitely just it's just a game time, dude. Honestly, like I'm sure if you if your KD went up that much, I'm sure it's just the the hours you put in at Absolutely. that point. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And I'm definitely gonna have more time in the summer and stuff like that. I got I got a couple goals for my KD and stuff. So uh good man dude off. i'm sure you're gonna do great we'll definitely meet up and do we what, what time do you usually stream and stuff like that uh six pacific. how's your schedule six pacific and so I go for about two and a half so it's about so, nine your time nine my time dude so we like so i stream from I got you to 10 push-ups after the, after the podcast, Dara. Um, we, should, we should run it because I usually start around 6 or 7 my time because that's when I'm, I'm free. And then I usually stream to like 12 or my time too. So I, okay. we should be able to play for like 2 hours, 3 hours, if anything, yeah. those days. Yeah, so uh, I'm down, dude. We should definitely get some games in soon, bro. 100%. Uh, like, well, like, well, like on stream together, I guess yeah. is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, absolutely. Thank you guys for watching the podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, um, this is Z. Um, really quickly, Z. Um, just drop your uh, your TikTok handle, your Twitch handle, just so it's on audio. So when I post it onto uh, to Spotify and stuff like that, people people know. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for having me, Ryan. Thank you um, for everybody. Just my socials are everything. It's Z Phase One. Uh, I'm getting into YouTube real soon, but right now I've got an Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and uh, a TikTok so uh it's 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 phase not like phases in the team but like p-h-a-s-e by yes, the way sir. guys yeah just to thank make you. sure before you guys are looking up freaking face clan or something right 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 <laughs> all right guys thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the podcast